Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through the yearly package volume example, and we're going to do four tasks in this. We're going to fix the number format, format the, this range here as a table. We're going to add data bars to the volume numbers, that's these numbers, and then we're going to insert a graph on a new sheet. All this will, of course, make this simple data look much more readable and understandable. So first of all, we're going to fix the number formats. The human brain is actually wired to see numbers in groups. So displaying more than five or six numbers without a space or a delimiter makes it much harder to read. So simply adding a delimiter for the thousands here makes it very, very visible that this is millions we're talking about. So and that's the first thing, fix the number format. Then we're going to format as table. This is a really cool feature, that simply format as table. Which format you choose doesn't really matter, as long as you select one of these. You get a lot of new features just by formatting a range as a table. And of course, you will try to guess. And this works fine as long as you don't have any blank rows or blank columns within your range. And of course, my table does have headers this year and volume. And as you see, I get this table tools tab now in my ribbon. And that gives me a whole bunch of features. For one thing, I get the filtering built in here. And I also get the remove dupl duplicates function. I can summarize with a pivot table. I can add slicers, export to a SharePoint list, which is very powerful and which I'll go through in another demo. But uh, that's a really, really cool feature in general. And of course, it also creates a named table here. That's also a useful thing. Um, that's that. Format the table. I'm going to talk more about formatting tables in another demonstration also. Then I'm going to add a data bar to the volume numbers. You can do that in two ways, simply by selecting the data here. And then on the Home tab, you have the whole conditional formatting section there. But you can also do it here in the Quick analysis tool and just add data bars there and as you see this becomes hugely more visually appealing when you simply do that and conditional formatting is here you can do data bars and just add different colors and create your own rules I'm going to go through that too in another demonstration finally we're going to just insert a new graph and I can do that again by quick analysis tool there which comes up when I select a range that's analyzable I guess so the quick analysis, I can simply add a new chart there and hover over these to find one that I really like. So I think this one is actually the most appropriate one for this data set. And to move that to a new sheet, I would move the chart over to a new sheet. And uh, that concludes this demo. Thank you very much for watching.